Hey guys, Dave Chamberlain from Next Level Outdoor Reviews. Guys, I love mobile hunting. I love hunting out of a saddle. It's just a different way to uh, enter the woods and get up in a tree that you might not be able to use a ladder stand to hang on or a climber in. And it just, it just allows you to be uh, more stealthy and just more streamlined as you go into the woods. And a lot of times on forums or different websites, you'll see, you know, what's the most comfortable saddle? What saddle do you guys recommend? Today I want to talk to you guys about the Buzzard Roost Saddle. Now the Buzzard Roost Saddle is a two panel saddle. So you got your top and bottom um, panels right here. Very cool and comfortable. You have this mesh webbing right here on the bottom panel. On the top panel you have your single row of molly webbing. That molly webbing is great for hanging different items. Um, you can hook a dump pouch on there with no problem. The molly webbing comes standard with a tight weave. If you want a looser weave, you can put that in your notes and Benny will get you taken care of. So that's uh, just a quick overview of the two panels. Let's go down to the woods and go over some more of the features of the saddle. Guys, so I'm out here in the woods. Uh, as you can see, I got the saddle on, super easy to put on. Um, I know some people like to carry it into the woods with them, just backpack it in, put it on when they get to the tree. Uh, me, myself, I don't mind putting it on at the truck and walking in with it. Uh, super comfortable. Um, you can cinch it down so it's not um, flopping around or sliding when you walk. So anyway, let's get right to it. Guys, when we're looking at the features of the saddle, uh, the first thing you'll notice is the ADF Raptor buckle right here. Super easy to operate. Um, plenty of webbing adjustment. So. Um, if you have a lot of clothes on during the late season and you need to loosen this up. Um, as far as uh, where you position the buckle, you can offset it to the right or to the left. Um, plenty of movement right there if you're someone who doesn't like it right there in the center. You also, as far as the rope bridge, it's an 8 millimeter Tuffelberger um, rope. And it has the scaffold knot on the left that you can see right here. And then a distal hitch here on the right. So um, plenty of movement there. And as far as if you're an archer and you want the, the two ends um, switched over, that's no problem. Just put that in the notes when you order. So again, if you're left-handed and you want the scaffold knot on your right side then and the distal hitch on your left. Uh, just for ease of use, uh, just put the in the notes again. Benny's super easy to work with, no problems there as far as customizing things. Uh, as we look down here on the leg straps, um, you'll notice that they are removable. Um, simple clip right there, and you pull it right through your loop right here, and you can remove these all the way in the back as well. So. Um, super easy to adjust, plenty of legging if you have a thicker leg or again you have some heavy clothes on during the late season. Just a lot of adjustability there with the leg straps and again as you uh, wear your saddle in if you're someone that would like to wear it in but you just don't want the leg straps as you walk, again those are totally removable. Um, the loops that the leg straps are in, they also serve a dual purpose. Um, these are great thumb holes as you want to reposition your bottom panel of the saddle. So uh, again, you can move your saddle down easily using those thumb hole loops. Guys, as we look at comfort um, in a saddle, you know, sometimes you can have hip pinch or you can feel like all the pull is down at the bottom when you want some at the top or just a a single panel versus a, a dual panel or a, a two panel saddle and this buzzard roof saddle, saddle has really changed the game as far as comfort uh, as we look down here the ultimate comfort comes from the padded and pending dual angle adjustment system so you guys can see they have separate prussics that are made of am steel and that allows you to change the angle or cup of each panel um, again, this totally allows you um, to customize the amount of pull around your hips and underneath your legs. And this will let you just dial in that comfort. 
So we all have different body types and different body sizes. And this system that I just talked about, uh, that pad and pending um, dual angle adjustment system just really allows you to set what works best for you and how you can be most comfortable when you're up in a tree. And you know, your style of how you're sitting or leaning might change as you're up there throughout the hunt. And that system just lets you um, move the uh, prussics and get a different pull on your body um, depending on whether you're sitting or leaning um, as you're up in that tree for the duration of your hunt um, it just keeps you comfortable so um, I talked about quite a few of the features let's throw some sticks on the tree let's get up in the tree let's lean from it and uh, just show you how that system works up there so guys as you can see I came up my sticks I got my platform set I'm ready to go. I did that all with the um, lineman's rope in position. So at this time, I'll go ahead and I'll put my tether on the tree. Once I get my tether clipped in to my bridge and I'm comfortable, then I can go ahead and loosen my lines lineman's belt. I can go ahead and completely take that off as well. So I am fully rigged up in the saddle at this point. So, again, I got that eight, mil, eight millimeter bridge right here, the rope bridge. That really allows for that smooth movement. Uh, whether I'm, I'm shooting down to my left over here. Oh, smooth loop movement you can lock my carabiner in there uh, lots of adjustability with the bridge if I want to lean back a little bit more I got room to lean back so really nice part about that bridge you know obviously if I lower where my tether rope is, then I'll have uh, a little bit more adjustability with the bridge. Um, if I wanna pull myself into the tree, stand up on my platform, I'm up on my platform. With one hand right here, I can adjust, adjust that um, bridge length right here. So, you know, take some weight off of that, that prussic there and uh, I'm good to go. So again, back out. So really like the ease of uh, that one hand adjustability. Again, uh, just take a little weight off and super easy to quickly make adjustments. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the dual panel saddle. Um, as far as adjusting that, I have my two clips here at the back. I want to go ahead and unclip out of those and I can pull my top panel up. Um, I talked a little bit before about these thumb loops and take some weight off my saddle, pull these thumb loops down, get back into it. Now I have a nice cup right down here at the bottom. I'm really comfortable there. I want to adjust that top panel up. I'm very comfortable there. Um, as far as the straps right here, I want to go ahead and take those all the way out, make those loose there, and then I can re-clip in to my clips. So all the way out, find that clip there, I'm in that clip. Again, I have this all the way out. 
find that clip there. And again, I'm in there. And then once I have those in, then I want to pull down and cinch that tight. So I have the, the spacing I want in there. I'm very comfortable then there. And uh, then I can just lean back and get in that good lean. So the two panels, set those up um, exactly where you want them for the cup of your body shape and the support you want from that top panel. So super comfortable. Um, the adjustability on that is really nice. Uh, don't really have any hip pinch on here. Um, obviously you can go into your, your different, different ways of uh, just waiting for deer to come through or different ways to, to sit and wait. But this is very comfortable. The dual adjustment um, system that they have here. So again, you don't want to do that when you're in the leaning position. You make all your changes by uh, getting up on your platform again and then you can just adjust these so if I want more pull down here on the bottom I'll adjust the pressic down here on the loop and if I want some more pull from the top of my back then I'd move this pressic up again whatever you want to Whatever you do on this side, you'd want to do on the same side so you can match those up, or on the opposite side, I'm sorry. So just match those up to get a little different pull. Then I can ease back into it. Now I can really feel some pull down here and uh, a little more pressure on my back. So again, as I get into it, it's just a different level of a uh, cup or pull, if you will. Um, that way you're not sitting or uh, hanging, reclining for uh, hours with that same pinch that you might have from an additional saddle in just one area. So with this system, um, I think they knocked it out of the park as far as, you know, everyone, like I said earlier, everyone has a different body type and um, different body size in a saddle like this will just accommodate um, your comfort level and what you're looking for. That's, uh, that's the main thing with the saddle that people are always looking for. You know, what's the most comfortable saddle? You know, what can I, what can I do all day hunting during the rut from a saddle? And the, uh, the system in place with the uh, Buzzard Roost saddle, again, the two panel, you got your adjustability up at the top with that top paddle with the straps and the clip, straps and the clips, you, you're able to uh, lock in exactly where you want it. And then the adjustability of the two Prusix right here, that just gives you that, that comfort that you'll want and that you can really dial in. Guys, so I'm back down here on the ground. I just wanted to wrap up with a couple things. As far as your ropes, uh, your tether, your alignment, um, if you already have one, there's no need for you to order uh, a full package. So. You can order the saddle individual. If you need ropes, um, you can order a package with ropes. And as far as the ropes, they come as an eight foot length of Sterling HTP static nine millimeter rope. Um, it will have a figure eight eye on one end and a scaffold stopper knot on the other. And that includes a six millimeter Samson Prusik cord with a poor man's ascender um, that comes with a Mad Rock carabiner. As far as the saddle sizes, they come in a small, a regular, a large, and an XL. And the, the website will outline uh, what size those are for. Um, Benny's really uh, into honoring um, our servicemen. So any active service member, you can have an American flag patch uh, put on your saddle for free. And you can have the options to add those if uh, you're not a service member. As far as what else you can order on the website, you can order a platform and that's the Pursuit platform. And uh, you could also order the package or you can order both of those together as a platform. So a lot of good stuff on there, really good website. Um, very easy to navigate on there. Check that out. That's buzzardroostsaddles.com. Like I said, Benny runs a small company, but there's no shortage of customer service 
uh, with what he provides. Just does a great job of, you know, walking you through uh, what you want, what exactly your needs are. So uh, make sure you look into the company. Um, if you're looking for a saddle this year, um, if you're a seasoned saddle hunter and you're just looking for a comfortable saddle, um, make sure you check them out. And if you're new to saddle hunting and you just want to go in and get uh, one of the best saddles that you can get right off the bat, um, give them a look. So again, that's buzzardroostsaddles.com. Appreciate you guys checking out the review. Hopefully I provided you with some good information and uh, good luck to you guys this fall. Take care.